I've said this before and I'll say it again. Wanda, aka Scarlet Witch, is nobody's mate, okay? If you see what she was doing in this film. Ladies, I wanna see you back it up, back, back it up, back it up, back, back it up. Welcome back, my Gs, to view it, review it. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. You know the vibes. I am here to give you a review of another long-awaited MCU film, Doctor Strange, The Multiverse of Madness. The nightmare begins. Before I get into it, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to those who are already, already subscribed. If you're not subbed, just, just hit, hit the button. It's right, it's right there. Just hit it. Thanks. Also, hit the notification bell so you are notified when I post another video. And let's get into it. If you're new here, if this is your first time watching me, then you should know that I am a Marvel stan. Gast. 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 I'm very gassed right now. Gast. Gast. Yes. MCU has my heart. It's a marvel of everything. Obviously, I was very excited to watch Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is one of my favorite um, MCU films so far. It's going to be spoiler free. I want to give people the chance to watch it before I, you know, spoil it. I think I'm going to do a spoiler um, review over on the Sagos channel. I'm not sure if we're doing spoiler, spoiler free yet, but there will be another review on the Sagos channel. So also make sure you are sub to them too. I feel like if you went into it expecting the same hype you got from Infinity War and Endgame, you would have been disappointed. We're in a completely new phase of Marvel. This film is definitely all about the magic, which I love. You could really tell that Sam Raimi was the director of this film. He definitely had elements of his horror experience he's directed in films such as evil dead he also directed the first original spider-man trilogy he gave us the horror he gave us the grit he gave us the rawness of this film this film is what our parents thought harry potter <laughs> was going to be like in terms of witchcraft and like just scary shit blood of jesus so happy that they gave him like the creative license to bring that different side into the mcu i feel like this film is fueled by love fundamentally the two sides are fueled by the same thing the wonder maximoff scarlet witch listen <laughs> i've said this before and i'll say it again wonder aka scarlet witch is nobody's mate okay She's not be smarting, okay? No one should ever, like, let this be the first and the last time. <laughs> Nobody should ever try and diminish or come for her powers or her ability. If you see what she was doing in this film, Sis has the ability to bait, she has chaos magic. Do you not, do you know what that means? She can do anything she wants. Once she just says anything can happen, okay? So let's just respect... <laughs> Wanda Maximoff, aka Scarlet Witch. Let's respect her because any doubt that anyone had was put to bed in this film, yeah? It's very layered in terms of there are certain films and certain TV shows that you need to have watched before watching Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. I would say the top three things that you need to watch if you haven't seen it yet are One Division, like definitely. Like if you haven't seen One Division, like just don't even bother. What If, the uh, animated series on DC Plus, and also Doctor Strange, the first one. I also forgot to mention Spider-Man No Way Home. Things that could have been better in the film. It's called Multiverse of Madness, and I feel like we didn't get to see enough of the multiverses. There is a scene where they kind of like pass through different multiverses, and that's it really. And then you just kind of see the different multiverses that are in, but you don't. I just wanted us to be able to like explore more and see more people and like see more things happen. I also felt like the dialogue sometimes felt a bit flat or it was a bit cheesy but I mean there's always a bit of cheese when it comes to Marvel films. I'm very fortunate I didn't watch the last trailer for this film because there is a there is a scene in the last trailer that would have been spoiled for me because I didn't know 100% I had like an initial 
reaction and I'm so happy that I, I didn't watch it. I normally watch trailers, but for some reason I just didn't check it out. So I feel like with their trailers, they maybe just revealed a bit too much. All in all, I liked this film. It's not like the best MCU film, but for me, this wasn't a bad film. Like, I think in terms of where we are in the MCU phase, it's a nice introduction to what we like, what we are going to expect. Like, especially with Wanda, with Doctor Strange, we are getting into the magical side of things. For me, this was a good film. I definitely recommend it if you are an MCU fan. I've seen mixed reviews. I've seen some people say it's one of their top five MCU films. I've seen people say it's a pile of shit. Don't go into it with high expectations because you might be expecting too much. I think in the era that we are in with MCU, it's a nice, we're on like a playing, like a level playing field, and it's a nice place to kind of see where they're going to go, see what's going to happen next. So having said all that, my rating for Doctor Strange, The Multiverse of Madness, and I've been going back and forth, but I have landed firmly on a 7.5. If you have seen it, let me know what you think in the comments. If you liked it, if you hated it, what you, you know, expected, what you loved. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out in the cinema and then come back and let me know what you thought. Thank you for watching. Once again, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I shall see you on the next view. Bye.